Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how to enable KEDA inside the Kubernetes cluster. Application auto-scaling is an essential feature while deploying your application inside the Kubernetes cluster. For that you can use HPA, but HPA have very limited functionality like you can configure a CPU, memory and certain custom metrics to auto-scale your application. But now let's understand you want to auto scale your application using a various data source like Kafka, RabbitMQ, Azure Event Hub, Database or a custom event. Then HPA is not suitable for this. For that you want to use KEDA. Now let's understand what is KEDA. KEDA is a Kubernetes event driven auto scaler. It is an open source CNCF solution lightweighted component that simplifies the application auto scaling. You can add KEDA to any Kubernetes cluster and use it alongside a standard Kubernetes component like horizontal pod auto scaling and vertical and cluster auto scaling. With KEDA, you can target specific app that you want to leverage event driven scaling and allow other app to use different scaling method. Let's take an example. You have an e-commerce application that experience varying level of traffic throughout the day. With KEDA, you can set up your Kubernetes cluster to automatically scale up a resource during the peak hours and scale down when traffic is low, ensuring you can only use the resource you need. KEDA have a several benefits. For example, it's a event driven scaling as we discussed. Unlike the traditional scaling method, they, they are not depend on the CPU and memory. KEDA allows you to scale based on the various external event like a message queue, database and custom metrics. Cost effective, simplicity and flexibility and you can enhance your performance. Now let's take an example, let's understand the use case. The first use case already we discussed e-commerce platform. The second one is event driven architecture. So for application that uh, uh, depend on event driven processing such those using serverless function microservices KEDA can trigger scaling based on the event volume like a number of message, message in a queue ensuring timely process third use case is like data processing where you have a large amount of data you want to process like for example IoT data for that use case you can use KEDA as well as the gaming server Online games can ha have highly variable player activity. KEDA can dynamically adjust the number of game server based on your player count and ensure a smooth gaming experience without wasting a resource during the off-peak time. So this is all about the KEDA. Now let's enable the KEDA inside the Kubernetes cluster. Now I just give you some idea. So we have this much scalar you can configure for application using the KEDA. So you can see here active MQ, active MQ Kafka, Apache Kafka, Apache Pulsar. So there are multiple scalar are there. Now earlier you want to install a KEDA software using the Helm chat inside the Kubernetes cluster. But now in the Azure they have directly give a facility where you can directly enable the KEDA feature inside your Kubernetes cluster. For that, you need to run this function at this uh, command az aks update. You have to give the resource group, you have to give the name of the cluster and then you have to enable the KEDA. So let's take a, let me enable the KEDA inside my Kubernetes cluster. Now here you can see I am going to use the same cluster AKS demo cluster and here I have a same application result uh, Redis, uh, Redis database Postgre database. Now let's enable the KEDA inside the Kubernetes cluster. So for that let me copy this command. So AZ AKS update resource group here I am going to use my resource group AKS demo. My cluster name is also AKS demo and I am going to enable KEDA. Press enter. Now here it will take 2 to 3 minutes. So let's wait. 
okay so now the kida is enabled let's verify so go to kubernetes cluster and uh, go to the custom resource here you can see the kida is now available now currently there is no custom trigger authentication scale job scale object and trigger authentication okay so now here what we are going to do we have just enabled the kida inside our kubernetes cluster now here i am going to use my database as a data source so whenever i enter any data inside the database it will scale up and scale down the application now here to configure the kida for the particular application you need to configure the scale object kida scale object so before that let's verify using this command so you can use this command kubectl get pods namespace is kube system so if you run this you can see the kida matrix is enabled now so kida admission webhook operator kida operator it and okay so this six object you can see it's created to meet back okay so let's verify here click go to cube system and here you can see the kda operator is created successfully okay now let's create a scale object so i have already prepared the yaml file so let's understand so api version is kda.sh v1 alpha 1 kind is scale object metadata inside the name just give the name kida postgres and inside the specification currently just ignore this and focus on this so scale target ref so here you want to give the deployment name that you want to scale up and scale down based on the event so here i am taking vote so just let me verify either vote is there default yes so what application is already there and currently the replica is zero okay after that trigger so inside the trigger you have to mention all the detail so currently just ignore this authentication ref and focus on this metadata so in the metadata i am going to configure the db name db name is postgre host name we have to give the host name so postgre db dot default dot svc dot cluster dot local port number five four three two query select count id as a message count from q dot message so this table i am going to create inside the postgre database so whenever i insert a, any new data inside this table it will create a vote it will scale up the vote application and if i delete the record from this table it will scale down the vote application ssl mode disabled target query value is 1 username is postgre and here this is important so currently i am using a type postgre so there as i said there are multiple types you can see here so there are multiple type you can use any type to scale up and scale down the application so here i am going to use postgre for ms sql the type is ms sql and the for the postgre postgre the type is postgre sql okay so let me copy and create this object now before that we need to first create this kda authentication so let me copy this file so inside the trigger authentication we have to give the secret information or you can say user password information so here i am going to uh, the kind is trigger authentication inside the space spec secret target is key is password name is postgre password and parameter is password and environment is container name so my container name is postgre db so if i go here and go to the deployment or go to the pod so so my <clears throat> this is my pod name and inside the pod name i have a container name so 
status yeah so this is my container name yes so this is my container name postgre db okay name is so what is my password uh, name so environment name is postgre password so let me copy this instead of pg password postgre password and parameter is password so parameter is password okay <coughs> so let me go here first in a secret let me verify okay so it's the secret name is postgre pw so this is my secret name postgre pw and my key name is password my key name is password and parameter is password so please make sure this name and this name so nine number 10 and 14 must be same okay so let me copy and create this target authentication kind so it is now successfully created so let's verify so go to this trigger uh, authentication and you can see it is created successfully and if you go into the scale object it is created successfully now here currently it is showing false so let's verify so go here and here you can see the error scale object does not have a correct scale yeah correct so let me drop and recreate okay so now you can see it is true and inside the so in the keda inside the it will create the hpa so go to the hpa and here you can see the hpa is also created now what i have to do i have to create the database okay let me connect first database so go to postgredb okay so currently this queue and message is already created in inside this database so what i will go do i am going to insert this query so currently there is zero row now let me insert some few record okay now here you can see currently the vote application have only one replica so let's wait it will automatically create a three replica now here you can see now one two and three new replica is created why because currently inside this message dot q we have a three record three record let me insert more record and immediately you can say within a second it will create a new instance here it will take a time in a ui but in the background it will create see okay so now let's uh, quickly check how many instance we have we have eight instance now let's say we need to scale down the application so for that let me remove the record so i am going to delete all the record And you can see here inside the status yes hello team i just changed this polling interval uh, just i will quickly show you so apart from that nothing changed so i have just changed this polling interval into 30 now let's understand what is polling interval so this 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 is the interval to check each trigger on by default keda will check each trigger source on every scale object every 30 seconds so this is our scale object and this polling interval che check this scale object every 30 seconds and i have do min replica count is zero now it is working fine so let's quickly show you go to the pod and currently in the vote currently there is zero pod is available now let me fire some insert statement
and here you can say select star from okay so there are 11 row are there so 11 new pod going to be create soon so now here you can see the first pod is created next four ports are created now eight port is now created and 11 ports are created now let me remove all the ports delete star from okay so now all the rows are deleted so let me quickly check so currently there is zero rows now here you can see currently all the status are running now everything is terminated thank you very much see you in the next video